Friends, buddies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. What up, Dave? Hey. It's Dave. So we're on day two of a couple of days fishing. Yesterday was tough. It was a pretty tough day. It was. Yeah. We caught some fish. Beautiful, mate. All right. I'm just going to get us straight back. See you, lady. Uh, it's a cool fish. We hooked plenty of fish actually, we didn't keep a lot of them on the line for long. Got him! Oh, he's gone as well, that was a better fish. I think if there's anything in there, oh, there we go, like that guy. Nah! Oh, he's off. Oh, and off. <laughs> Got him. Oh, and off again. Unbelievable. But we explored two different rivers. The first one was pretty warm and pretty low and we feel like as the day heated up, it got too warm and so we bailed to another river. Dave, you got the fish of the day for sure. Yeah, that nice. last one you got was beautiful. Anyway, early start, and we're in this river early because we want to explore some water way up there that we haven't been to before. So I'm gonna get in here, just fish a couple of spots on the way up real quick, and then we want to push up into that water we haven't seen before and go exploring because we were talking about it on the last trip. Oh, if you haven't seen that last trip, I'm gonna link that up here. And you can go check that out. We had a great time. So we're gonna get ready. I'll show you what I'm using, and then we'll uh, go look for some fish. All right, so I'll run you through what I'm using really quickly. I've got Larry here. If you guys don't know who Larry is, he is that Helios 3, six weight F, the original gangster for me because I broke my other one in the South Island the other month. So he's off getting repaired and I'm back to Larry. But this is a great, great rod. Anyway, so we've got Larry, I've got the Mirage LT size two reel and this cool dark olive. On here I've got a Scientific Angler's Amplitude Infinity Smooth, which is pretty much on all my trout gear because it's that good. Seven foot floating poly leader on the end of that to a tippet ring and then I'll be building my leader off of that as per usual. All right, so. There's my tippet ring. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. Probably not. We're going to bang some 3x off of that. All my tippet is a Scientific Angler's Absolute Supreme tippet. Super supple, good knot strength, thin diameter, good abrasive resistance -ness. Tag ends and hip back. And we're going to go back, I reckon, five, six, seven feet, 3x-ish. And then we'll put some 4x off of that, and that should be good enough. And we'll probably start with an indicator, just because of that crap light and the kind of water that's behind me, deep. Nymphy. So for the indicator, I'm going to use this bigger tubing, like the extra large tubing, just because I'm going to be using some heavier flies and some kind of beefier water. So it gives you a bit more kind of floatiness. If you want to know how I do this from scratch, I'll link that up here and you can go check out that video rather than me bore you with it now. Should do the job. Size 10 101, and then something trading off the back of that. UV flashback pheasant tail from Cat 3. I don't know why it's not focusing, but that guy on, and we're pretty much ready to go. First cast of the day. And my indicator sunk. Perfect. That's better. This is where we normally start getting into the fish, is up into this top part of the run. Chunky <laughs> rainbow, yeah? Come 
whoa, look at that eel. Whoa, 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 look at the size of that eel. Come on, brother, let's get you out of here. Nice work, good net job, man, thank you. Yeah, boy, I'm a... That's a big girl, eh? Trying to take a big chunk out of our fish. It's a big horse head, eh? That's a fat fish. That's a lovely jet. Yeah, man. That's beautiful, mate. That's that's what we come for. Okay, so that was cool. I had to work that run really quite hard to get that fish. So it was just under five? Just under five. Just a little football. I don't know whether it will come out on here or not, but the biggest deal I've seen for quite some time decided to turn up and then try was trying to take chunks out of that fish as we were trying to net it. It got a bit chaotic there. Got the fish in the net. He was unharmed. Got him out here real quick. All right, Dave. We're up. Up to you, mate. See that eel there? Look, that's the guy. I was trying to uh, take a chunk. He's just swimming up the inside here. Just gonna go up there and wait for us. <laughs> yep. Nice. Well done. Well done, man. <laughs> nice work, buddy. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> that is just beautiful fish. What a fish, man. Well done. <laughs> Good fishing. Uh, yeah, just jumped in, put a couple of uh, drifts through with the old pumpkin stone fry that Dave ties. Bang. Like second cast? Second cast. Second cast. Job done. All right, we're going to leave that piece of water alone now and then just keep pushing up. All right, let's put this away and get moving because it's cold. Okay, i just got to add on my dropper again because uh, with that last fish, we ended up with an overhand knot. So remember, always check your stuff after you catch a fish. Alex's tip of the day. Great job, Dave.
Oh, that was a great looking fish, wasn't it? Just so, so nice. Good colors, cool attitude, big nose. Ah, it was great. The bro on the net job, Dave. Nice work, man. We've got some sun, which is fantastic. Down there in the shadows, she's cold. So Dave's gonna finish just putting a few through the top of that where I didn't really fish. Then we're gonna bust into this bush. We're gonna boost up, do a crossing. And then we're pretty much up to where we want to be to start slowing down and exploring. So that's kind of exciting. <laughs> we in? Nice one, cheers buddy. Little fat, fat football, eh? Oh yeah, yeah man. Okay, ready? Yep. Cool little fish. See you buddy. We've got a brown and a rainbow out of this pool. Both small fish, uh, and I bumped two, I don't know, I'll say bigger fish, but I don't know. Uh, I bumped two fish in there before I caught that fish. Indicator Bob hit it, bump, and off. So, so who knows what that is? Probably, probably 25 pounds. Who knows? Dave's just going to bank on on the other side over there, and then we're going to push up there where neither of us have been before. Which is kind of the goal of telling. Oh, ho, ho, ho! Well, there you go. First cast. <laughs>
everything off the surface. I'm pretty sure I've seen him eat a couple of leaves. Uh, he's just all over the place, just dum, dum, dum. Anyway, Dave's changing over to a little kind of dry fly, a little green humpy, I think. I feel like saying, if the cast is good, this fish is gonna eat anything. He's got a big kind of square nose on him, big shoulders, and he's just, here he goes, here he goes. Um, just ate something. I think he's ate, I think he's ate some foam then, Dave. You got a foam fly. <laughs> Things have changed since we spoke last, which was about 20 seconds ago. The fish I was talking about and showing you has moved up further into the shadow and another fish has moved into his place. Oh, the big guy's coming down. This might be, might be a bit of chasing around going on in a minute. Keep your eye out the back of this rock for the second fish. Oh no, they're both just next to each other now. I think if you go and stand on that rock there, you might be able to just put your cast along the, along the right line. If you can put your fly like just down the edge of that foam line. Yeah. That's good. That landed pretty much parallel with him. I don't think he saw it. Put that down. Leave that. Don't bring it up, just leave it. Coming over, coming over. Lift, lift, lift. Yes. Ha 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 That was awesome. I didn't. Oh. oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. This is the only one we need. Ooh, oh, he's out He's got a lot of stoke on him when he is. He's over the other side of the room. Bad, bad time. Oh, 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 he's off. Oh. Nice work, man. That was cool. That was cool to watch. Beautiful teamwork there. Dave couldn't see a thing. I saw everything. And then he just boosted off over the other side of the river. And then the hook came off. Did he bust you off? Oh, no. Just the hook popped out. Close range contact, that's a lovely fit. Range close combat scenario again. I was kind of perched on the rock, Dave was up on the side here, kind of telling me where the fish was at, and then it was like bow and arrow casting kind of stuff. He actually saw the first fly a bit late, turned and followed it, and I had to pull it out of the way because of the rock. And then when I showed it to him again, he 100% refused it. So I just uh, changed the fly, dropped the size, changed the color, and then psh, first time he saw it, he ate it. That was wicked, real cool character, kind of pointy nose, shoulders, cool colors. Yeah, no complaints. Good stuff, good times. Yeah, just under that leaf. And I reckon if you're gonna do anything, try and put it down his left hand side, not his right hand side. A bit short, it was just behind him, I feel. Yeah. Nice and gently out of there. Add like three feet to that car, so you're good. Money. You'll see this. Moving, looking, eating. Nice. Oh, ho, ho. beautiful. That's a good fish, bro. Nicely done, my friend. Pretty, pretty fish. Yeah!
Yeah! Oh, Nicely done, brother. That's a big rainbow. Woo! <clears throat> this is a good fish. Oh, yes. That is fat. I haven't got his head head up once yet oh no 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 After all that, hook just popped. Oh, <laughs> Ow. you can have my shoulder. You deserve. You need it. That would have been a good sitting pounder. Yeah, that was, that was that was that was fish of the day. Oh, oh, that stings. That stings. Yeah, looks good, eh? Yeah. I'll take just one, thank you. Uh, uh, I'm thinking deeper now. Anywhere down in there. Um. What? Fish. Okay, good fish, good fish. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm gonna go see Dave. I thought I'd come to you this time. Oh, <laughs> <sighs> 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 oh, why'd you want to go there? Don't like you downstream. Oh, man. Oh, come on. Hey. Man, it was a heck of a run. Pretty. Yeah. Fish. <laughs> <laughs>
pretty good commiseration fish. So we were just talking about that in the water. That fish I just lost looked about a third bigger than that fish again, and she was just about on six pounds. So that other fish was big. Anyway, that's fishing. That happens. That fish there was spectacular. I'm pretty sure that's me for the day. I'm going to get Dave to fish through the rest of that piece of water and I hope that he can pick something up. But I'm super happy to finish on that. Anyway, that was really cool. Uh, ran me down 150 meters, 200 meters down the river for my troubles. And took that little flashback pheasant tail from Cat 3, I think. I had to add split shot to get down because that was super deep, super fast water. Uh, yeah, and was actually quite tough to fish. So I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with that decision and pretty happy with that catch. Fish of the day, son. No rush, no rush. Oh, David, my man. Oh, dude. Look what you just did. Give a quick show and then let it go. Awesome man. <laughs> Dude, that's a great fish to finish. That was an awesome fish. Oh, I man. think I'll call it quits. Well done man. Well done. You say you sight fished it too. Yeah, I could see some dark shapes and things. They're either rocks, but I reckon they look like fish. They yeah. kind of like in that moving, and yeah. All right, cool guys. That was well. We're going to end on that because well, we don't even know if we can get out of here yet, do we? <laughs> <laughs> we're hoping. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do one more crossing just to fish one more piece of water so we could get one more fish for Dave, and that was worth it. Hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment in the comment section below. Say see you later today. See you guys. Have a great week, everybody. See you on the next one. Peace.